Hi, today I'm going to show you a few things about your back office. Now for time's sake, I'm not going to show you everything, but I'm just going to kind of give you a general overview and show you some key places that you want to pay attention to. With that being said, you're also going to want to, when you've got more time, go in and spend some time getting familiar with it, sit down, go through all the tabs. But again, I'm just going to kind of give you an overview today. Okay, so let's go ahead. You're always going to want to go to um, your rep website on the back end. So that's going to be um, myzaya.com and you're going to put in your rep ID. And that's going to log into your main dashboard here. So something you want to keep in mind, you're always going to want to look at your performance dashboard. It's going to give you where your monthly numbers are at, what your, that's your PV volume. So what, um, that includes any orders that have gone through your rep website that you've made to other people and also your personal orders that you've ordered for yourself with your 25% off discount. The next thing I want to show you, it says late breaking news. This is where any promotions for the month are going to be and any um, of leadership calls that you may have missed will oftentimes the link will be here. You'll have the return address if you need to ship um, items back for an exchange or refund. And then lastly, on this front page here, the thing that you need to keep in mind is you're going to have a big list of anything that's out of stock and you're going to want to familiarize yourself with this because maybe a customer wants to buy something and you want to be able to tell them when they can expect it to be back in stock um, if it's not currently in their size. Now the other list on here, if you scroll down, there's a list that says discontinued. This is another one that you want to be very familiar with because it's going to let you know if something is never coming back. If it's on this list and the size is on there, we will not be bringing that back to Zaya. But don't be freaked out if this is a long list, which it usually is. Um, things launch every week, so there's always new items coming in. Okay, the next thing is the accounts tab. Now this is going to show you any sort of um, pretty much any order that has ever gone through your back office, not back office, but through your, um, you as a rep is going to show up on that accounts, um, that accounts page. The next one is profile and I'm not clicking on this because it does have all my personal information on it, but just keep in mind, this is going to have anything that you need to update your website with. If you want to update your address, your bank account information for your direct deposit, if you want a new um, photo for your website, anything like that is going to be under your profile. Your downline, I will click on this, but I'm going to go ahead and move it over so we don't get personal information shared. Um, your downline, this is important to know because this is going to be anyone that you've enrolled underneath you and anyone they've enrolled. So you can do different filtering. I'll just keep it on the basics, but I'm going to go ahead and change this to 75 so that it shows more. You're going to have it on whatever month that you want to show. And um, I have it right now filtering by sponsor, so it will show um, whoever the direct downline is and then underneath them and underneath them. So once you select, you know, whatever filter you want, you can go down here. You can even filter by state, whatever, and you're going to hit run downline. This is going to give you a list of everybody on your team, whoever they've signed up. And on the right hand side, which again, I'm not going to show numbers here, but that's going to show you your group volume and what everybody has um, done in sales individually. So this is an important screen to be familiar with. Okay, the next one um, I'm going to show is, actually I'm not going to show it, the commissions because again it's personal information, but it's going, you're going to want to be familiar with this one because this is going to show um, your own commissions for what you make that month, for what you've made in the past. It's also going to show your lifetime, so what you've done as um, for your career volume, your entire time um, in Zaya. And you can actually click on a details tab and it'll break it down further so you can see every bit of your commission and how it breaks down. Um, the next tab that I am going to click on is the order tab. Um, I'll go ahead and scoot this over again. Um, this is a really important page that you want to be familiar with because you're going to use it a lot if you're like me. You're going to place a lot of orders back here. So again, I'm not going to go through every single thing here just because it would take a really long time. I know everyone is busy and wants to get your business off and running. Uh, but one thing you do want to be aware of 
Um, if you need to order more brochures, catalogs, anything, you're going to do that through this link right here, the business tools order. So if you need more catalogs for a party or something, you're just going to click on the business tools order and you can order it from there. The other one I want to show you is the personal order. This is one, oh, I wish I wasn't so familiar with it, but I am. Um, this is where you're going to place any orders where you want to apply that 25% off discount to. So for yourself, you would just click on personal order, you put in your information, you type in um, whatever item that you want to add, and you would look it up and select it size, and it will automatically give you the discounted price of the 25% off. Now, if you're ever extending that discount, which I don't recommend, you can do it, you can run your own sales, um, but it is fine to place a personal order for somebody else under this tab. It doesn't have to be you, but just know they're getting your discount. So you will not make any commission ever on personal orders. Um, so I highly recommend use that personal order wisely, of course, for yourself as much as you want. Um, but if you ever do give it to family or if you're running a promotion, just use it wisely. Okay, the other one um, back here that I want to show you, you have all of your contacts back here, your bookings, um, but the other important one I want to show you is the gift certificates one. Um, this is something that um, you can go ahead, I'll click on this, it's going to have a, a list here of every gift certificate that has gone through you as a rep. So um, if you buy one for somebody, I know a lot of people do giveaways for like a 5 or $10 gift card if you're doing an online party. Um, I recommend waiting to after you know who won the gift card. You're going to go through your personal rep site, not the back office, but just your regular rep website, how anyone would. And I go ahead and I put in um, the name that whoever you're awarding the gift card to, um, put their name in. And then you're going to go, um, once you've submitted the order, you don't need their address. It's all electronic. All these gift cards are electronic, but you'll access that um, gift card by going on this tab. Um, under the order tab and hit gift certificates and here's all your certificates if they've been redeemed it'll be a yes for um, a Y for yes and, and for no but the part that I want to show you is this number this is the gift certificate number and that's what you're going to want to message people if they've purchased a gift certificate you're going to message them that number um, and you have the option if you want to put a cute little graphic um, in there and send the card you can um, but I'll show you where you can find those as well. But this one's an important one, the gift certificate. This is where you're going to find um, the gift certificate numbers, which is important. Um, the other one I want to show you is the returns. This is an important one because you will have times that people need to exchange a size or you know want to swap out an item or just get a refund entirely. And this is the tab that you're going to do that on. You are simply going to click here where it says create a new pending return and just follow the steps um, for you know what item you're going to be um, sending back and also what item you want to um, to exchange it for or if you're just sending a flat if you're just re, you want to refund you don't have to pick a new item um, but this is an important one to know be aware of and then it will basically once you've processed it it will show in your process returns or you can see here I have two pending returns that they're just waiting um, for the item to get to Zaya and then once it's processed it'll pop down in my process returns um, order history is another really important tab to be aware of. Um, this is going to show you every customer that um, has purchased. It's also going to show the order number. So if you have to reference that, it's going to give you everything. It also has your qualifying volume um, and your, it, your commissionable volume. So this is an important one to be aware of be familiar with. I access this one a lot. Um, it'll always show you if someone has just placed an order, um, you're going to want to always make sure it shows up here. If it didn't, something's wrong and they might have put it under another rep's website or something. So it will always, sometimes it takes a few minutes, so don't panic if it's not immediate, but all your orders will show up here. Um, personal orders and anyone that's placed it on your site. And um, another thing to be familiar with, you can do um, different searches over here. So for example, if a new grid bra comes out and you have some clients that have ordered the black one in the past and you wanna do a filter to see, 
okay, who has ordered this bra in the past because I want to reach out to them today and let them know about a, the new product that came out, this is where you do that as well. So this is a really helpful page. Um, the other thing I want to show you is your events. Um, this is all your events that you have going on are going to be on this page. This is another one to be very familiar with, and I'm just going to show you one quick thing before we wrap up. Um, once you've created an event, which you would do from this page, um, if you were going to create a new party, you would just select online or party event means it's in person. And I'll go through on another tutorial. There'll be something to show you how to set up an event. Um, but one thing before you go, I want to show you on this page, if you've set up an event and you need to get that direct shopping link so that you can share with people, you're going to want to go, let's say, for example, this very first event, I need to send her the shopping link so she can share with people. You can simply click on the edit and click on party details. And it's going to be right here in party shopping. That's the link you're going to want to share. So I hope that helps you get started. That was a lot of information in a very short amount of time, but I just wanted to go through, those are the tabs that I use the most. Um, and I think the very first ones that you wanna get familiar with, but definitely take some time, sit down when you have a moment and just kind of go through each one, play around with it, see what they do. Um, and of course, message any of us if you have questions about it.